with the Prince and his wife Meghan Markle in Europe for the opening of the Invictus Games founded by the Duke of Sussex, the pair met competitors and spectators before Harry delivered his speech. The Duchess of Sussex is in Europe for the first time in two years, with the pair paying a visit to Queen Elizabeth II prior to their arrival in the Netherlands. During the speech, the topic of Archie came up, with Prince Harry discussing both the career ambitions and character of his son. The Duke mentioned how he speaks about his son's future with Archie. Addressing the audience, Harry said Archie wanted to be an astronaut one day, and a pilot the next. Joking with the audience, he highlighted a helicopter pilot, obviously, reflecting the role he himself had performed whilst in the military. Prince Harry also mentioned young Archie wanted to be Quasi-I, a cartoon character Daredevil Cat from the Octonauts series, a show highly popular with young children. Seeing some of the audience react to this, the prince said, if you are laughing, then you have seen it. In a touching tribute to the audience of athletes, many of whom have shown spirit and courage following horrific injuries during battle, Prince Harry referenced their spirit and hoped his son would emulate their strength. He said, I remind him no matter what you want to be when you grow up it is your character that matters most and nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today. The prince added, you as a community have overcome immense challenges and you are healing and teaching the world as you go. You are people of resilience, and strength and of heart. You have the heart of Invictus. The prince is said to have dedicated much of his time to the organization of the Invictus Games, the first since 2019 due to the outbreak of the COVID pandemic. During her speech to the crowd, Meghan said Harry had spent many late nights and early mornings planning for the Games. She described her husband as incredible for the work he has done since 2014 when the Games were first held.